One weekend, my mother and sister were away. Late on the Friday night, after a few drinks down the pub, Barnaby and I decided to head home to play some FIFA. You know FIFA? No. More of a pro-evolution soccer man. As, as we neared our house, we realized that a group of youngish guys in hoodies were following us on the other side of the street. We knew they were gangsters because one of them was riding theirs, those tiny little BMX bikes. You know, the little, really little ones that make them both comical and scary at the same time. Like a sort of stabby clown <laughs> or an angry circus midget. Do you have your panic alarm, Barnaby? I whispered to my brother. Jack, they're not going to rape us, he replied, clearly not as worried as I was. Well, if they do, you're first. That way they'll be too tired to bother with me. I replied, ever the protective older brother. We upped our pace, doing that kind of fast walk that looks a little bit like you've shat yourself, which, the closer the hoodies got to us, became more of a possibility. Thankfully, we got into the front door without being raped. We went in, but the group of guys remained outside, lighting up cigarettes, peering in through the sitting room window. Yeah, just a couple of guys who were up to no good and started making trouble in our neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> They're just yobbos, Jack, for God's sake. Have a sense of proportion, my father said. Then the boy took a final drag and flicked his cigarette into our front garden. It landed on my father's camellia. Little shit! <laughs> Growled my dad. He was off. In the rush to get downstairs, my father had been unable to fully fasten his silk dressing gown. As one of the boys squared up, to presumably punch him, a gust of cold wind shot up the dressing gown. The garment billowed open dramatically, <laughs> revealing my father's body in all its glory, his manhood caught in the glistening moonlight. Oh, what the fuck, man? One of them said before staggering back in shock. They all looked at each other, not knowing what to do. My father made an unsuccessful attempt to re-robe himself, but in his hurry made it look like he was simply fanning both <laughs> flanks of the dressing gown in order to draw attention to his nakedness. <laughs> right, I seem to remember as well, you trod on something, so you started howling as well. Like, wow! It was like a pterodactyl. <laughs> Go on, fuck off, he repeated, as he finally grasped both panels of the dressing gown, momentarily forming a sort of silk-eared elephant, complete with fleshy trunk. This time, the boys turned and fled. I've never seen people move so fast in my life. Clearly terrified, my father walked back inside triumphantly, the dressing gown now fully fastened at the front, but not before a little gust briefly flapped up the back <laughs> to give any stragglers a little flash of ass or bottom. He got back into bed and went to sleep as though nothing unusual had happened.